Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in historic Boulder City and we're staying in a national landmark, um, actually a historical site as well. We're staying in the Boulder Dam Inn. I think that's right. There's a lot of Boulder City motels here. This one is located right in the heart of Boulder City, right in the square. And they have three different types of rooms. They have a queen bed, they have a king bed, and they have a king suite. We are in the king suite. So let's take a look around. into the room you kind of come into the great area and over here to the left is actually a cute little kitchenette you've got a microwave you've got a decently sized fridge right here which we've got full of our barbecue and if you guys haven't checked out our barbecue video from Boulder City go check it out right now because that place hands down phenomenal and worth a visit over here we've got a smaller coffee pot we've got some coffee goodies got some storage for snacks in here and then paper towels and a sink and over here it's kind of like a little wet bar dining option which is actually really cute I have to say we've got an ice bucket there's an ice machine up on the second floor which is the floor that we're on and then you've got this nice big bar area so if you wanted to bring back some food to your room and just eat in your room you've got that right here so moving on, we're gonna come over here to the other side of this first room. As you guys can see back here was that kitchenette area that we just came from. Over here, this is like the main sitting room. So we've got a nice cute little two seater couch, a nice big ottoman, we've got a lamp. The AC is right here, well at least one of the ACs. And then we do have two windows behind Gary. And over here, We've got a cute little um, dresser set up. So if you're gonna be staying for longer than a night, you can kind of unpack your stuff and just kind of mosey on in. And then there's a cute little TV as well. So I have to say, overall, this part is actually really nice and spacious. Um, this is the largest room that they do book here, and it's the King Suite. So let's go check out the bedroom. Moving on from the great room back there where we were, we're now in to the main sleeping quarters and we have a king size bed. As you guys can see, it looks very clean, I have to say. The room actually smells really nice and clean and we have stayed at a lot of hotels this year and by far, I'm actually really impressed with this room. The fan overhead is really nice at night and I have to say, it's been dusted. How many hotels can I say that I've been in where things weren't dusted? This room is immaculate. Over here, we've got a nightstand, alarm clock, and an old school looking telephone. It looks like a rotary phone, but it's really got the buttons on it, which is kind of cute. We do have another TV. We've got some windows that lead to the outside over here. But overall, this room feels nice and spacious, I have to say. It's kind of cute. It's definitely cute. And back. Over this way is where we're gonna find the bathroom. So back in the back corner of the room is this closet. It's got um, an area to hang up your clothes if you'd like to. It's got the ironing board and the iron, extra blanket, and a luggage rack. So if you're looking for a place to kind of store your luggage, this is where you can do it. So let's take a look at the rest of the hotel. Okay, so I apologize for a little bit of back noise, but we can't turn the light on without turning on the fan. But this is the bathroom, and I have to say, we are impressed. I had read a lot of reviews that said the bathrooms were on the smaller side, but this is actually bigger than quite a few hotels that we've stayed at this year, including Aliante. So it's pretty straightforward. We've got a shower, bathtub that's been refitted with some more modern features. They do provide you with shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel over here. 
And over by the sink, they have hand soap and lotion as well. And they do give you a hair dryer, some extra toilet paper, and some cups. Overall, it's not bad, and it, it looks really clean, I have to say. So that is going to complete our room tour. Stick around and we'll come get you guys for the rest of the hotel. So there's our key for the room. Fancy old school, everybody. It is really old school. Something interesting too, our room was actually furnished by the Red Rock Foundation. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, so here is the hallways of the historic facility. And we're all the way at the end for the King Suite. So they do have an elevator in this hotel. It's right down there. Very old school, but just in case you need it. All right, Nacy was too scared to ride in the elevator. Let's see how this goes. And they do have a nice coffee lounge that's open in the mornings and the evenings. Oh my gosh, my dad used to have this desk in his office. Doesn't he still have it? Does he still have it? It has secret drawers in it, y'all. I wonder if this one has the secret drawers in it too. Maybe I find the deed to the place. It's like it's like national treasure. <laughs> I own it now. <laughs> But a nice little sitting here. So here's the lobby of the hotel. Mm-hmm, we did. So I think this picture is really cool. It's uh, Fremont Street when they are trying to persuade the president to make that the home of all the workers for the Hoover Dam. Wait, they were candelabras? Probably, yeah, it's for like an oil system. That's kind of cool. Candelabras. And this is actually the last piece of the walking tour. So if you're done the walking tour, these are the last pieces of the walking tour that you have to say. If you guys want to see our full walking tour, make sure you check out our video where we came down here and we did the full walking tour. It's definitely worth a, a do, for sure. And don't forget, we also did the Boulder City Hoover Dam Museum as well. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> check out both those videos in the upper right hand corner. We've done a lot. Right, there's a restaurant on the top floor from 7 to 2. But then they also have this. Which is Cleveland's Lounge, 21 and up, downstairs. It's supposed to be pretty nice, according to our waitress at the uh, Fox Barbecue. Okay, so here's the outside of the historic hotel. Definitely interesting looking. It's a little bit of a windy night. Legit tip, it is definitely windy. So the Boulder Dam Hotel is a historic site, which is really kind of cool. <laughs> it was a retirement home at one point. <laughs> Something I find interesting about this hotel is there's a bunch of businesses in here too. So they've kind of mixed business with the hotel aspect of it these days. All right, so that concludes our stay at the Boulder Dam Hotel. Hotel. It was a fun experience. It's a nice room. It's super early in the morning. We're trying to make it to Hemingway Park, so we're getting out early. But uh, so check out that video, our previous experience at Hemingway Park. Really nice place. Yeah. The hotel's great. Mm -hmm. The only two complaints I have is that one side of the bed does not have a nightstand, which makes it really hard for that person. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's a lot of like noise. The windows are very thin. 
the air conditioner makes a noise. I think it's just old hotels. Mm -hmm. uh, but if Boulder City was a more poppin' city, it would be really noisy in this place. It's a very quaint hotel though. And like I said, we got the King Suite, which is one of the larger rooms. So I highly suggest if you want a larger room, definitely book that room. Cause it is kind of off and a little more secluded than the rest of the rooms. Agree. And it is a really nice room. Like yeah. the whole hotel is really nice. It, the architecture, everything about it's really nice. They have a, a uh, restaurant in the Main front yeah. that opens in the morning that's owned by the same people that did the Fox Barbecue. So definitely check that out. And then they have a speakeasy downstairs at night. So if you want some drinks, you can get that here too. Yeah, and there's a ton of local restaurants like all around this hotel as well. Agreed. And plus you're really close to the Hoover Dam. If you want to go down to the Hoover Dam, you're close to Hemingway Park. If you want to go check out the Rams. I mean, Boulder City is such a cute little quaint town, I have to say. It's it's 100% worth a visit. And if you want to go to Vegas, but you don't want to necessarily stay in Vegas and you want to kind of go somewhere a little more quieter, think about staying in Boulder City and maybe just driving over to Vegas for the day. Yeah, it's only like a 10 or 10, 15 minute ride to the Strip, so it's not even that far. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you ring that notification bell so that way you're notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth? Bye, everybody. Bye.